Hundreds of people were yelling for help in desperation. After a fire broke out at New Lucky House in Jordan at around 7.50 a.m., the place was upgraded to a number three alarm within 10 minutes. Those trapped in their units tried to draw the attention of firefighters by the windows. <laughs> Others were more fortunate, such as this domestic helper who went out to get breakfast just before the fire started. Still, she couldn't hold back her tears, fearing for her employer's safety. This resident living on the fourth floor recalled being woken up by the fire alarm. I tried to escape to the streets, but the smoke was too thick, so I ended up going upstairs instead, she said. Forty-one people suffered injuries of various degrees, with 38 of them sent to hospital. Three men and two women were pronounced dead. Four of them were found in the stairwell of the corridor inside the building. Rescuers discovered the remaining person on the canopy on the first floor and suspected that the deceased had fallen from a height in a desperate bid to escape. Fire Services Divisional Commander Lam Kin Kwan explained the blaze broke out near the lobbies of the first and second floors, where a gym and a guest house are located. The fire, covering an area of 20 meters by 20 meters, was largely contained by 10.30 a.m. We had found that place, uh, some plastic board and some electric wiring are installed at the lobby on the first floor. So it may be one of the reasons that caused uh, the fire and also the smoke block uh, alongside the uh, uh, corridor as well as the staircase. A task force led by a senior divisional officer has been set up to probe the cause of the blaze and why it led to so many casualties. Police will also conduct a criminal investigation. Built in 1964 at the junction of Nathan Road and Jordan Road, New Lucky House is well known among budget travelers looking for cheap accommodation. The mixed-use complex is also home to a number of subdivided units.